Hey everybody, today we are going to make homemade gravy. Now a lot of people don't have time, so if you don't have time, it's nothing wrong with using instant gravy. But today we we have a little time, so we're going to make it from scratch. The first thing you're going to need, of course, is some flour. You're going to need some oil. You're going to need water and then you want us to use season and then you can use whatever seasons you like but we're going to keep it simple we're just going to use some seasoning salt some pepper and some salt we also going to use just a little bit of a, a little bit of margarine we don't have any butter today but it will work you need a cup to measure you also can put in some frozen onion and if you like it really creamy you can always use a cream of celery a cream of mushroom or a cream of onion it's just to your taste first we're going to preheat our skillet and it is hot because we're using a cast iron skillet today so this is going to go really quick you want to use your measuring cup to do your oil because you don't want to be standing over a hot pan still trying to pour oil once you get this oil in everything is going to go really quick the first thing we want to do is make sure that your flour and your water is very close we're going to get our onion because our onion is going to go in really fast too. and this onion has been frozen so it's going to add a little water to it on its own ready put just enough oil to cover the bottom of the skillet that's about all the oil you want to use because all you want to do is brown your brown your flour you don't want to burn it you don't want to be eating a lot of grease you just want to brown your flour so you can test it by putting a little flour in it seeing if it bubbles which it looks like it may be ready or oh, another old school way of doing it is you grab just a little taste of the water And you drop it in. And then it just like that. You know it's ready. Alright. The quick process. We're going to use a scooper. Because we want to make sure we know how much gravy we're getting. Because you don't want it too thick. But you don't want it too thin either. So we're going to use about. Um, it says. About a third a cup. I'm going to use about a third cup of flour. And you want to make sure you're putting your flour in areas where there's not any already. Because you want to make sure that when it starts browning, it's not just browned it on one end and then you have regular flour sitting there that's still white. See, that, that starts turning really quick. So we're going to start adding our pepper, we're going to add our salt, and you need to keep stirring. That's one mistake people make. Don't stop stirring or you can burn it. So keep stirring it around. Add the rest of your seasoning, which I should have gotten this top off earlier, but I didn't see what happened. So we're going to put some seasoning in it. I like to have everything in my gravy before I turn it into full gravy. That way you know what you're seasoning. You don't want to make it too see. You don't want to put too much stuff in. It's great. Okay. Now your next step normally is to put um, your water in. But since we have these onions here, we want to also put the onion in. 
that has a little water. But you only want to do it to one side because you still want your gravy to boil on the other side. Then you want to take your water and start adding your water little by little. Little by little. You don't want to... Add it too quick and you don't want to add it too late because you want your gravy to start thickening. See how that's thickening up? Now it's starting to get creamy. It's starting to get creamy. So if you have the gravy you want, it should be good. But we need more than that. So we're going to add some more water. Pick on how much water to add. Well, that's why you want to add it little by little. You don't want to add it all at the same time, otherwise you end up with soup. So you add maybe, I say a half a cup at a time, depending on how much flour you use and how much grease you use, because the grease is going to make the flour thicken up. Make sure you stir it. Get your stern so that you don't get thick clogs in one place and thin in the other. You just want it all to mix in and stay really thin. Do that. So we're gonna let it go up just a little bit. See that? See how it's boiling? That lets me know that it's going to thicken up some more. So before that happens, I'm going to take a minute to open the can. Let's see, we have a can of cream of soup. Our gravy has started to thicken up again. So we want to add a little more water. We want to let it start thickening up again because when you put your cream in it, your cream of soup, it's going to start getting thicker. So you want to make sure that it's done first of all because we have these onions in here. You want those onions to boil a little bit. And you want to make sure that it's not already too thick. So it's a pretty good um, pretty good combination. And of course I need to keep the rice going and it looks like it's ready. Although that is not in the video today. We are still going to show you some of our pre-made food as usual. That looks pretty good. Okay. It's thickening up and it's not burning. Then it's pretty much ready for you to add your other ingredients. But I like to add a little bit of margarine first. I guess I end up with a lot of it since it fell in. I told you. That's the world of instant TV. You never know what's going to happen. I'm going to let that butter melt. Let it go back to a bowl. You can see that it's starting to boil again right in there but we want it to melt this butter so we're going to ease the butter over to the spot where the bubbles are so that way we know that it's actually in a spot where it's being heated so we're going to put it there we're going to stir the outside just to make sure 
getting that thing is sticking. Because you don't want your gravy to stick. Otherwise, you get that burnt flavor. And that comes from cooking your gravy too fast. That's another thing. You want to cook it on low. You're just trying to get it hot enough for the grease to cook the flour. And then to expand the flour into gravy. And you can do that on the lowest speed that your stove has. Whether you're using a gas stove or a electric stove. If you're using gas, you put it on low. Or you just look at it and go to the lowest setting that's on yours. If it's electric, put it on about 200. But remember to preheat it. And wait till you know it's hot before you start it. Otherwise, you're just going to end up with a bunch of white gold. Okay, so we pretty much got that melted. I'm going to add a little more salt and pepper to it now since it's gotten pretty much to where it's going to be. Now we're going to start adding, see the texture, we're going to start adding our soup, or rather our cream of soup. And it usually comes out like that in a big lump. So I like to chop it up, pretty much let most of the heat do the work, and just in little bitty sections, just little bitty circles like this. You want to start loosening it up because you don't want to just swish it around, swish it around because gravy will hop out. And remember, the main ingredient in the gravy is oil and it will burn you very, 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 very bad. Once you get it where your soup is starting to smooth out, then you can move it around a little bit more. It's like I always like to use a spoon that has openings because when you use a spoon that has openings, you can do other things with it, like smash. And you want so you want to let that come to a boil a little bit, just so it merges the soup. We're gonna let it come to a boil. And that's always y'all know when I'm doing stuff. I'm cleaning up my mess at the same time so my mom does not jump on me. So while this is boiling, I'm going to put away the seasonings. I'm going to put away what was the butter tray. I'm also going to put away the flour. And you can see that it's starting to bubble a lot. Once it starts to do that, it's time to watch it. Let's see. Can you see it's bubbling? I'm going to start stirring again in little circles. Little circles. You'll take your time and put it in little circles. Green is nothing to play with. And making gravy from scratch takes a minute because it's a process to do it right. I mean a lot of people they just throw it together. I like my gravy to be good. So I take my time and give it a chance to get done. And don't think this amount of gravy this looks like a lot of gravy, but it's not going to be here very long. See how the butter has started to come around the edges now? It's separating. 
I'm going to let that boil another minute. I always keep my water beside me, even after I finish using it. Because you never know when it's going to get a little too thick and you want to add a little more water to it. It's a good consistency right now. That's about how I like it. I'm gonna let it boil a little more. I want that soup to be so smooth that you can't tell the difference in the flour and in the soup. And while we add it, and at this stage, we get a little of the bubble part and make sure we have enough seasoning in it. Perfect. this a little more since it's almost done we just want those two ingredients to combine and if you finish your gravy and you let it set for a minute and you see a lot of oil rise to the top that means you're using too much oil don't do that because then you're not eating gravy you're eating vegetable oil or canola oil or whatever type of cooking oil you use. I prefer to use vegetable oil. It's just me. And it is pretty much ready. See? You have your onions. It's a good consistency. You have both your gravy and your soup sauce. Looks like it's ready for the rice. Thank y'all. And the gravy goes over the salmon, vegetables, and rice. Looks great to me. And if you have greedy people in the house who only gets enough salmon and vegetables for themselves, you can always put the gravy over rice, and it's delicious. I'm Kimberly Racing. Kimberly Racing, she step on the set clean. 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 Hey, I can do it. Kimberly Racing, she step on the set clean. Hey, I can do it.